Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, I've got a very interesting phaser pedal to show you. Now, not too long ago, I received an email from a chap called Aaron Berry, who is a small time pedal builder based in Australia, and he runs a company called Berry Pedals. So I looked through his lineup and this pedal here really piqued my interest. This is his Lunar Phaser. Now, the reason I was so interested in this is because on the surface of it, it's a fairly simple all analog phaser, but you can use these five controls to dial in a huge amount of classic phaser sounds from history. So the rate control, very self-explanatory, fast phasing, slow phasing. The regen control is similar to the feedback knob on the old Mutron phaser. It takes some of the output of the pedal and puts it back into the input to create a sort of watery feedback loop. Now, turned up all the way, it can get pretty whistly, but used tastefully, you can add a nice subtle complexity to an otherwise fairly simple phaser effect. The width knob takes the core waveform that the phaser is working with and kind of stretches it and compresses it depending on where you set it. But of course, as you manipulate that waveform, it will subtly adjust the rate. So the width and the rate knobs are fairly interactive with each other. So nudge one, you might want to nudge the other, but balanced out, you can get some subtly different, but very tasteful phaser effects. But the real selling points of this pedal are the two toggle switches. Now the one on the right here is marked wet dry and wet. So wet dry is kind of your standard phaser. You have your dry signal, the phase shifted signal, and it's the two interplaying against each other that creates the sound we know and love. But in wet mode, it defeats the dry element of that signal and leaves you with just the phase shifted signal. So you can kind of turn it into a phasey vibrato effect. It's almost like a throbby univibe at certain settings. So you can use that in some really creative ways. If you wanted to use this in a, in a wet dry rig for a sort of true stereo phaser, you could do that. So you can get some very interesting sounds with that switch. But my favorite part of this pedal is the switch on the left, because this pedal has three different levels of phasing in terms of the number of stages it can use. So you can take it from a four stage phaser, which is a bit like your old classic phase 90, to a six stage phaser and a 10 stage phaser. So as you click up the numbers, it just gets more complex and more extreme, especially with the regen adding the whistling on the top. You you can get some absolutely wacky out there sounds with the rate up, it sounds like a ray gun, but you can then dial everything down for some really subtle slow movement too. So you can use this pedal to really approximate the likes of the old phase 90, the small stone with the color switch, that's kind of what the regen knob does, the old Mutron phaser, even the old Maestro phases, you can get very close to with this. So today I'm just going to plug into it and cycle through as many different sounds as I can in about 10 minutes, because I won't be able to cover all of them, and just show you how many classic phaser sounds this pedal is capable of creating. So please do comment underneath folks, let me know what you think of the Lunar Phaser today. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comment section. And without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.